What's good everybody? It is I, your favorite hit maker, Moshe Keys. Go, go, and you're now watching Skipani. Dango! Ah, uh, Moshe Keys, Moshe Keys, Moshe Keys. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a business owner. Um, I run events, I'm an artist, I'm a musician as a whole, basically. I produce my own music, I sing on my own music. I just love good vibes, man. Like, I'm a good energy person, you know, I'm like that person. That's why I actually titled my album Dayo. I feel like I'm the source of joy to, like, the people around me, you know. The people that I have around me have that sense of feeling. They feel like they, they get joy from me. And not only that, I just generally feel like my music as a whole is a source of joy to the people. Where do I come from? I come from Polokwane. Uh, grew up in Polokwane. I was born in Guiani. Grew up in Polokwane. Went to school grade one to seven in Polokwane. Eight to twelve in Polokwane. Still went to a technical high school, um, Afrikaans technical high school. So I was in school with like white people. It was really hectic because crazy thing. First day I got there, I didn't know how to speak Afrikaans. So I get there, the first words they say is "geek af." I'm like, what? are you talking about all my grade one to seven i didn't learn africans that well you know and then i went to <coughs> to technical african speaking high school went there uh, and then i moved to pretoria for school i dropped out on my second year yeah i was studying sound technology sound engineering um and i dropped out on my second year because i felt like a lot of the things that they were teaching i already knew it and i was already doing it you know, so it's like they're telling you to a point whereby I would even co um, um, correct a teach, like a lecture. Like, no, that's not how you connect it. You could have to connect it like this because it's going to cause feedback and whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. You know, so for me, it was like I'm spending so much time trying to build something just so that my parents can be like, yeah, this is, he got a degree and whatsoever. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to be rude for the next however months it's going to take me to blow up. Um, meaning that if my mom complains about me not going to school, I'm gonna have to just shove her down and be like, nah, I gotta make this thing happen, you know? So then, crazy thing, my first EP, I'm a piano EP, I did it at that school. Uh, as a first year student, I had to ask a third year to book a studio for me because they didn't allow first year students. They thought we didn't know anything. <laughs> so for me, it was like, come on, bro. And then I did my, my first EP, dropped it. That, that was my first big song, actually. Um, Heat Overload, featuring Caltonic SA, Cypherid, and Detro. Yeah, my first big song, my piano song. So, and then that, that's when the wave started going. Then we dropped another song, and then it started making waves. So, I started questioning myself. I'm like, is it because I'm dropping music with these guys, or is it because I'm, I'm dope, or what? I just had a lot of those questions. And then, I grew some more into the industry, started learning more. You know, I started, um, I, got, I got, I got, I got, we started sending emails to like record labels. And then I was just like, no way, I'm not about to sign. Like that has always been my, my mission in my mind. I'm like, I'm not about to sign to anybody except myself. I'm gonna sign to myself. I'm gonna go there to see their offers. We sent them emails, they didn't reply cool and then i think three years later or something i dropped samarian boy and then the pickup was kind of slow. i don't i didn't like the song i don't want to lie I, didn't, I just didn't like it because i feel like it was rushed i did it a night before um a night before a gig the following day i was going to pull for valentine's day i had a gig at some school did it sent it to the guy i was using the studio the owner of the studio sent it to him. I sent a VN. He's like, "Hey, bro, what, what, what the hell is this? It's like you're roaring like a lion, and all of that. Like you're not saying anything, but it slaps." And I'm like, "I don't feel it that much, bro." And then I went to go sleep. I'm like, "Maybe I'm just tired because I've, I've been working from the morning till now. It's like 3 a.m. You know." Went to sleep, woke up, and I listened to the song. It banged. And then I'm like, "Actually, let me take a video of myself and post it on like my WhatsApp story. Let me see what people are gonna say." Posted and people are like, he said, my DJ friend, DJ friend, like, send the song, send the song. I'm like, ah, I was still feeling super insecure about it, about my music as a whole. And then I I, uh, I sent it to, few, to a few people on our way to Puluk and we played it for the first time. We, I think we played it four times in a row, literally. That's how much it was banging. Then I was like, I think it bangs, but let's see what the people are gonna say at the gig. I'm gonna play it as my last song after performing. Got there, performed. 
treat it as my last song. Yeah, it was moving a bit, all of that, cool. Moved on. Then things just started changing, you know, like pace started when going up and then I started like starting investing in my brand. I'm like, actually, gods are made it because of the whole brand change. You know, like they, they took his brand, they changed him instantly. Like everything was just so changed instantly. Like, let me actually try that too. Let me try be like a drip god. You know? like, let me use what I have. Got a friend, there was a friend, Uncle Grand, uh, uh, Uncle Grandpa. So he was a stylist. He went to a school, fa a fashion school. He was still studying, still at a, at a fashion school. Um, so he had clothes, gang clothes. You know, he's like, you know, those rich kids who have like massive clothes. So every time we would go to gigs, we would call him to come dress us up. So then we started doing that, dressed us up. Um, then yeah. We just started getting content as well, started getting people. At the time, we're not making money. And we trying to, at the same time, trying to make it look like it. You know, trying to make it, like, like, like we want to sell it to the people, to the masses. You know, like, in South Africa, we deal with a lot of perception. Like, if people don't like what they see, they won't even dare to listen to what you have, you know. But I shouldn't even have mentioned that that's like my secret i feel like that's my secret like that's something i do not a lot of people meditate that's one thing not a lot of people manifest as well people just think that everything just happens like you just drop a song then boom you know yeah sometimes it happens like that but it something had to happen for it to happen that way so for me it was just like i need to do this i need to put myself in this position i need to try and get to this guy you know i was thinking of ways one thing I'm big on, like I, I handle my own social media because I feel like I need that bond with the people that are following me. I need to understand them to a point whereby if things hit the fan any day, I can be able to pick it up myself and be like, nah, man, you know, they know me like that. They know me personally like that, you know, as Musa Keys. So I had to put myself in a place where I'm like, you know what, let me invest in this social media thing. Let me let me start putting ads up, you know, let me start putting content, let me start taking some time off, go shoot some things, and let me see, trying to understand people, trying to understand what they like the most, you know? So also being, like, like my, my, my purpose was being mysterious about certain things and also being very open about certain things. So the reason why I had it mysterious so that they can forever keep on thinking about it, you know, like you're always gonna be thinking, who is Musaki's dating, you know? Who, like we wanna know, you know? And I also had to also look at my strong points as a person, like what is it that could sell to people?